welcome back to our channel good morning good afternoon good evening your time thank you for your continued support please subscribe to our channel if you haven't turned on the bell so you do not miss our new upload okay guys there's this news that i've been making it around the social media some group of people organized themselves went to the british high commission in abuja they want an undercano deported so they leveled some allegations against him malicious allegations that is what i will call it i want you to listen watch i want to know your thoughts in the section below please and please do not leave here today without subscribing and share out our video thank you guys please watch and i'll see us on my next video please watch high commission in Abuja, we are here at the British High Commission Abuja to protest against Nnam Dekano and his uh, criminality. His criminal activities that are bringing problems and chaos in our society. He cannot be at, uh, at a very safe place and be sending the ignorant youth to go and die over nothing and heating up the polity, making everyone hate each other as he stands, everything is already bad for the people, no matter your class. And he's just trying to make it worse while enjoying a peaceful atmosphere in Britain. That's why we've gathered here today as Nigerians who want the peace and love that is among Nigerians to remain. Who want to preserve our land because we have no other place than Nigeria. If war starts now, we will be fleeing to other countries, people who may not even want us when it is very preventable and we are not going to allow that to continue as you can see we have protesters here with our placards protesting against bigotry against hatred we want peace in nigeria not war say no to ethnic bigotry a bigot is not a freedom fighter nam the kind of stop sending ignorant youth to die over your lies you cannot be in the united kingdom and be calling for violence in nigeria Stop the attacks on police and military checkpoints. Stop Nam Dekanu. No more deaths of our police and military personnel by ESN. Arrest Nam Dekanu now. IPOB is a terrorist organization. Of course it is. Enough of the bloodshed in Igbo land. Nigeria is one. Of course it is and it shall remain so. Extraditing Nam Dekanu now. Incitement of violence is not freedom fighting. Say no to terrorism. Say no to IPOB. If incitement of violence is a crime in the United Kingdom, why is Nam Dekano still free? What do you call someone ordering attacks on law enforcement agents? A terrorist, of course. Terrorism is not freedom fighting. Very simple. We have came here with a very special message, as you can see. No one is disturbing us. No one is distracting us. No one is, is shoving us away. This is the police. As you can see, everyone is com comporting their, themselves very well in a very respectful manner. We are here for peace. We are calling for peace. We are not calling for war. We are not calling for violence. Anyone who wants violence should go to violent countries. There are places you have wars around the world. So whoever wants war may be moved to Syria, Yemen, Libya, or Iraq. Not in Nigeria, not in our time. We will not repeat the mistake of the past. That's why we are calling on the British Embassy, on the British High Commission here in Abuja, and the entire British UK authority to make sure they arrest this criminal. He even registered it in a false, under a false pretense. The regulator at the UK company house should take note. Take note, this is a terrorist organization registered in your land, disrupting the peace of our country, disrupting everyone. The politics of Africa is taking a very dangerous turn. We don't want anyone to send UN troops to our communities, to our country. If there is peace, there, be, there wouldn't be any need for peacekeeping. Peace keeps itself. We don't need any forces in Nigeria and we don't need our people to suffer. What we need is industrialization. We have a long way to go and we know that. We are trying to work towards it, to make our place a safe place for everyone, every woman and child in Nigeria. Right now, I'm going to interview the convener of uh, this protest. Good afternoon, my brother. May we meet you? Good afternoon. Yeah. My name is uh, Chukuma Diopa Chukuma DK. Yeah. I'm the, I'm the president of Igbo Youth in Nigeria and in diaspora. Yeah. I'm the convener of this protest. Yeah. The reason why we are here is because we don't want Nam the Kanu to be killing our people again. Okay. Our people have died enough. 
Yeah. He has no agenda. He has no plans. Namdekanu is a close. What we want is a peaceful society. Yes. Namdekanu is just sending the youth to go and die unnecessarily. Over nothing. He brags that he has atomic bomb. He has this, he has that, he has nothing. And the youth believe him. And he is hiding in UK. He's a British citizen. So we, we are here today at the British High Commission to submit a letter to the British ambassador that his citizen or her citizen is causing problem here in our country. They have threatened, they, when I announced that I was coming to, I was, I was meant to come here, they threatened to kill my mother and my younger ones. As I'm talking to you now, I don't know what, if the plan is still on, on ground. So I'm reporting him to the British ambassador so that he will take it to Her Majesty the Queen and let her know that her citizen is causing problem here for us. Go to my social media page, you see all the threats to my life. We've said it before, we don't want Namdekano's pattern in this our country. He told us, he, 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 he made everybody in the Southeast to believe that we should boycott the election, which people accepted. On that day, two days to the election, he collected money. And they said that the referendum document has been signed, sealed and delivered. That after the election, we are going to have a referendum. It is over four years now, or Nothing. three years now after the election. And he's still selling lies and to people. And he's still telling us again to, that we should fight for referendum. Which referendum? By killing is? soldiers and policemen. Now, the next strategy he's doing now, he's not killing policemen and he's not killing army men in the southeast. How can you kill policemen and army men and expect them to keep quiet? These are their colleagues. Some of them are their best friends. And they are defenders of the and country. The, the worst part is that even the policeman is killing and the army man is killing, are also from, from, from the so-called Biafra. So how, how is he rescuing us? Anyone, anyone that says anything in the South is he will send his men to go and kill him. Yeah. Anyone that says anything in the South is he will send his men to go and kill her. Enough is enough. We've had enough of Nam the Kanu and we are saying no to him. Yeah. The only way we can register our grievance is to go to his country. His country is Britain, that is the passport he's using. So we are here today at the British Embassy to let them understand that we are not happy with what their son is doing. Yeah. IPOB is registered in Britain. So we are calling for an independent investigation towards all the activities of Nam Dekanu. Nam Dekanu bury people alive in the southeast. Nam Dekanu send his talks to go and kill people. Prophet Woko is dead. They, 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 they killed him. Akwara is missing. Akwara is missing. Akwara was his, was his former boy. Abambo was because, kidnapped and they tried to bury against, her alive. Because he was against some of his policies. Especially to go and be killing police officers and army officers. For what? Is that How many police officers are you going to kill? Yeah. How many, how many of them are you going to kill? If you kill, they will still recruit them and put there again. Yeah. So what is the what what is the end result of your killing of police, police officers? Yes. So today, we the Igbo youth in Nigeria and in diaspora yeah. are here to, to protest that Nam the Kano's case file must be opened Amen. in Britain. Yeah. So that they will investigate all his atrocities. Yes. They will investigate all the allegations we are labeling against him, which yes. are written in this book. Yeah. We, they will investigate everything about him. Yes. So that we have a peaceful society. Yeah. We are not slaves anywhere. Yeah. We are free men. We are free men. We don't want his activities. And he should stop threatening people. Yeah. British government should open the file of all IPOB members. One of them went to social media and he's in the Netherlands. His name is Austin Okonkwo. He's in the Netherlands. He went to social media and said that he was going to go to Britain and assassinate Uche Mefo. For leaving the criminal organization. For the criminal organization. Yeah. That he's going to kill Uche Mefo. He's going to kill... Let me open my mouth. He's going to kill Uche Mefo. Uche Mefo. He's going to kill his wife. This, is, this, this video is on YouTube. He's going to kill Uche Mefo. He's going to kill his wife. He's going to kill his kids. This is the characteristics of a terrorist. Yeah. This is the characteristics of ISIS. Yeah. IPOB have turned to ISIS. Yeah. And we Mini cannot ISIS. hold our hands and watch them disintegrate uh, uh, Nigeria. people land. Of course. Thank you, my brother. Now Abba is on fire. Yeah. There was so, several gunshots and 16 youths died. Yes. These are fathers, these are children. Yes. He, 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 he began his protest. How many people have died? Yeah. A lot of people have died. So we don't want any more deaths. We say Nam the Kano's case must be open. Britain must listen to yes. us today. They must the ambassador should come out and listen to us and Thank listen you. to our plea. And bring Nam the Kano to book. Yeah. And his entire crew in IPOB. Thank again, you. there's another killer again called China Sangoru. In Kuwait. He's in Kuwait, but he is the person that writes the names of those 
that they, they were executed. Including the, the names are most of are mostly all the billionaires in, 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 in Igbo land. After Zonubo, Emekofo, and the rest of them, many of them are, are there. I, 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 I have, I have first class information about, about it. So we are calling on the British government to extradite Namdekano, yes. make him face, they should open their case. May let him face justice. We are calling for justice. Thank you. You understand? We are not fight, justice. not war. The death is enough. Yeah. Enough of the killings. Our mothers, our mothers who, who fought war before. Yeah. Our mothers are not used to war. Yeah. What we want in the South is anything we want to help elders. Our elders will sit down and will dialogue and think of how to get us our, yeah. our, 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 our own share in yeah. this country. Yeah. So, Nam the Kano, we don't want you. Thank you. We don't want your ESN. Yeah. E e Amotuku was created in the Southwest. It was created by the Constitution of the Southwest. Yeah. Every state house of assembly in the Southwest sat together and uh, passed a law. You can't just stay in Britain and you create ESN. And be killing. Thereby inviting the, 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 the Nigerian soldiers and army to come and be disturbing our mothers. When, when your ESN go and strike, they will kill somebody mm -hmm. and they will run. Yeah. The police will come there and do mass arrest. Be disturbing mothers and fathers. The money where they go use chop, they go use and they bury themselves. Mm -hmm. We don't want it again. Go that on. is why we are here in, um, in this British embassy to submit our, our letter and to also to cry to the ambassador to send our message to Her Majesty the Queen and to send our message to, to, to our good friend, uh, Prime Minister Boris Johnson, who we so much love and we believe his wisdom. God bless you. God bless Britain. God uh, bless Yeah, uh, thank you. Thank you, my brother, for that uh, wonderful speech. Right now, we are going to ask, ask uh, the security personnel to maybe call someone from the inside to take our petition and submit it uh, to the uh, High Commissioner, the British uh, High Commissioner to Nigeria. We will submit it and make sure that they, it gets to the uh, appropriate authorities in the UK. And they have to work hand in hand with our Minister of Foreign Affairs and uh, our, Ambassador, our High Commissioner to the UK and make sure that this, this nonsense is stopped. We cannot continue to live like this. We cannot continue to be, to, to be seen as, as savages, beheading of innocent people on camera. When did we become these animals? That's not who we are. We are peaceful people, and if you don't know the history of Nigeria very well, check, we Igbo people, we are businessmen, we believe in commerce, we believe in trade, we don't believe in war. That's why we never conquered anyone. We traded with people, we traded with so many nations in Nigeria long before the British ever came to Nigeria. Not once did they say that the Igbos attacked anyone or invaded any people. No, we are business people. We believe in commerce and business cannot thrive in an atmosphere of war. In a hot zone, business cannot thrive. It's not possible. It's not possible. Without peace, there will be no development. No matter how bad you think you have it, if there is war, it will be worse. That's why we are trying to avoid it, to make sure something like this doesn't happen. There is, there is not going to be any other war. Weapons have evolved. If it, if it used to take uh, 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 three hours to move 5,000 troops in 1967, it will take less than one hour to move 10,000 troops in 2021, and it's going to be bloody. We don't want it. We don't want to invite the United Nations. The United Nations, Nigeria is a client, a, a client state of the British, of the British monarchy and the British state. That's why we are calling on Her Majesty's government to take action and put a stop to this nonsense. Thank you, everyone. My brother, come. Let's go see who will give a, a listen. Mm. So, okay. Mm. So, okay, okay. Yeah, we'll be waiting. We'll be waiting. Okay. We are waiting for, for someone to come. No, we need. Yeah. Mm. We are waiting for someone to come and, uh, and uh, address us, then take our petition and submit it to the appropriate office and make sure it gets to them. Enough of this nonsense. Nigeria is not disintegrating. Africa is one. One Nigeria, one black nation. One Africa, one black nation. So shall it be. We will not let a criminal stay somewhere in the UK and be propagating lies. The ignorant youth are buying it. He knows that those people don't have access to the internet. What, haven't he, what hasn't he done? Lying that the UK government has signed uh, the Biafra referendum, that they met Donald Trump. All lies. They went on a jamboree visit at the, at the UN and at the European uh, uh, Commission. 
in 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 the, in in uh, in, uh, in uh, Strasbourg. Moved around there and claimed that they met someone. Meanwhile, these guys back here are, are buying it. They'll be buying his lies, buying his nonsense. Going to confront the military, military personnel, boys who are who are in the in the in the in the, in the working class. If they have any problem with the elites, why don't he face the elites instead of killing people whose salaries are not even even enough for, to to clothe an average, average politician in Nigeria? They'll be giving their lives over nothing. Giving their lives over people who don't even care about their welfare. People who don't even care about their well-being. People who never appreciate anything they are doing. And this guy will be sending those boys to go and kill them. For what? We've had enough of it. He said, no. Time for action. Time to act is now. Time to act is now. If incitement of violence is a crime in the UK, it's, it's a crime in Nigeria too. And rightly so. The criminal should be extradited. The criminal should be brought back to face the law. If he's actually, if he's actually innocent, let him submit himself to the Nigerian government and face his victims. Abambo was nearly buried alive until a Pawantapa intervened, raised an alarm, then they left her. She was she passed out for two hours because the earth has covered her. Madame Sosha, the attack on her, Cosmos Judge. The poisoning of a, of a, of a, of a, of a, of a, George Onibe. Waka Waka was poisoned to death. Tim Obi is still is, is is still is still sick. Ruby Matthew is in hiding. All for what? They will be killing people, and they say that the uh, the, the killers are full of any people trying to trying to 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 tap into the emotions of the people and bring divisions. Knowing very well that hatred sells very well. It's easy to sell hate. Now we've been cutting the culprits. Now they are doing it in the open. What else do they need? They need to arrest him. He should be arrested. He should be extradited and brought back to Nigeria to face for to, 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 to answer for his crimes. Justice must be done. There will be no mercy for anyone who killed our soldiers. There will be no mercy for anyone who killed our, who killed our policemen. Whose interest is being served when you are when you are eliminating law enforcement? The rich men can protect themselves, but the poor can't. Go and check the cities everywhere. Problem, avoidable problems, not a natural disaster. But criminals, jobless criminals, jobless fools, Yahoo Yahoo freedom fighters, scammers everywhere, in abroad, lying to the people, paying them to, to, to put up propaganda, blackmail people who are trying to expose them, tapping into the emotions of the people, knowing how painful that war was to the Igbo people, then he will tap into it. And be creating problems enough of it we don't want it we are not going to stand for it we are not going to stand for it we are going to fight we are going to fight and make sure that he fa he face justice without justice we don't have a, civ a, 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 a civilization there will never be civilization without justice because if he gets away with it 10 years down the line another person will come up and it will be worse than it is he's calling them esm no we call them esmmm it's a scam he says, come, he's just gathering bandits, cultists, and criminals, sending them to go and kill people. Then he will post the picture and say that they are formidable, they are destroying Nigeria, copying false videos from Ambazon, from Cameroon, saying that they are ESS, ESN men. No, they are ESMM. ESMMM. Criminals. Criminals. Killing innocent people. Where are those, those soldiers he says he has? He says he's buying a war drone. Where is the war drone? And he took money from the people for it. At what point do we say enough, enough of this nonsense? This is becoming childish. It would have been funny if lives are not being lost. It would have been funny if the innocent youths who are going to replace the aging ones are not dying over nothing. It would have been funny. It's a charlatan and must be made to face justice. So we are still waiting for them to come and take our petition. So we are still here, as you can see, we have Nigerians united under one umbrella under the banner of peace under the banner of love one person should go okay go okay go and submit it yeah our brother is going to submit it right now he's going inside we are going to wait for him enough of the nonsense enough is enough enough is enough now he's uh, he has he, 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 he has changed into threatening uh, 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 the, the the royal fathers the monarchs the obi of furniture of all people of all people who is he 
Who is he? Okay, how are you, sir? Are Good you? afternoon, sir. I'm fine, sir. How are you? I'm very fine, sir. When you are making, when you are submitting letter, yes, sir. We do not allow handset to be vims the area. Okay. You okay, me? this outside. You can, yes, you can talk it, but didn't vim anything here. Okay, you can sir. Talk, but the way when you are putting handset, we didn't allow. It, okay, sir. Okay, if sir. you bring to submit letter, submit the letter. Okay, we submitted comment, it. They will, they will collect the letter. But okay, when sir. When you are talking, you are doing uh, is wrong. Went from outside the computer scene. Okay. Outside, it will be a problem. Okay, let me state. view all these uh, ones. Okay. So my people, I'm sorry, you know, we need to obey the law. We are law-abiding citizens. We must keep on obeying the law, as they said. But again, I read, look at this, watch it. We want peace in Nigeria, not war. Say no to ethnic bigotry. We have said no to that, and we continue to say no to it. A bigot is not a freedom fighter. Nam the Kano, stop sending ignorant youth to die over your lies. Of course, he's lying to them. He's lying to them. Did they meet Donald Trump? The answer is no. Did they meet anyone at the UN? Did anyone sign any referendum document? No. And the people are dying over those lies. You cannot be in the United Kingdom and be calling for violence in Nigeria. In fact, he has even went to he has even gone to the USA. What's the distance between London and, and Abuja or Lagos? Then what's the distance between between Abuja, Lagos and, uh, and, and uh, Texas? Before the fight the, 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 the crisis started, he was in the UK. Then instead of coming down here to join the, the, the idiots he's sending to go and die, he went further from Nigeria, which is United States. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? He's a coward. He doesn't live by his words. He's a criminal. Stop the attacks on police and military checkpoints. Stop Nam the Kano. And those of you that are sending to, to go and attack police, the police and the military, remember what happened in Aba? That is just a precursor to what's about to come because they are mo we must demand revenge we must exact revenge from these people you cannot kill our law enforcement and let us uh, and get away with that and some people are calling for amnesty amnesty for what give them amnesty then they will kill more tomorrow no more deaths of our police and military personnel by esn it's esm mm arresting them the colonel now ipob is a terrorist organization of course it is they've killed so many people in the southeast they've killed so many people Enough of the bloodshed in Igbo land. Nigeria is one and it shall remain one. So shall it remain. Anyone who doesn't like it should move away from here. Leave the place. If you don't like it, leave. Extradite Nam the Kano now. Yes, you must be extradited. If incitement of violence is a crime in the United Kingdom, why is Nam the Kano still free? You should, that's a question we should be asking them. Incitement of violence is not freedom fighting. Say no to terrorism. Say no to IPOB. Terrorism is not freedom fighting. Of course it's not. What do you call someone ordering attacks on law enforcement agents? A terrorist. That's what have you submitted, bro? Okay. Yeah, thank you everyone for being a part of a part of the program. Share it. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Please, my brother. How did it go? Thank you very much. I I was invited inside, so I have submitted the petition to the British uh, Embassy. So now, as I'm talking to you now, it's been processed. Everything we wrote on that uh, document will be attended to. Mm -hmm. I advise everyone in the southeast to go about your business lawfully, mm -hmm. peacefully. Yeah. Forget about that man there. He cannot be sitting at the comfort of his, of his house and be destroying our place. Yeah. Aba is the, 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 the industrial hub of, of southeast. Yeah. If you, any problem happens to Aba, it's going to economically affect And on the is threatening on the chat too. Now, on the channel, now, you are threatening to kill the OB of one. <laughs> what a joke. A king, what a joke. The whole of what a joke. want to kill him. Why would you want to kill him? Obi of furniture created, for all people. He created a vigilante to secure his furniture so that businesses can be going on. Because furniture is the, is the economic heart of Ibo land. Yeah. And you want to destroy it. You yeah. don't want it. Mm -hmm. You don't want it. Yeah? Your, your style of uh, agitation is not, is not good for us. It's not needed. We don't need it. I've submitted it to the British Embassy and they're taking care of it now. We've done our part and we are going home peacefully. Yes. Because you can see we are very peaceful. We don't yeah. come here to come do anything. Can I yeah. We are very peaceful. Yes. Once again, it is Igbo youth in Nigeria and in diaspora. Yeah. I'm Chukuma Dike and I wish you all the best.